Well, little lady, let me elucidate here. So, after I completed my Danny Gonzalez video, I noticed that he, along with some former Vine stars, belonged to this subset community of YouTube. Some people that belong to this community are YouTubers like Drew Gooden, Cody Ko, Eddie Burback, Ryan Trahan, Gus Johnson, Noel Miller, etc. with some being a little bit closer to the core of the community than others. These people tend to make reactionary forms of videos and I'll acknowledge that they all have their own unique spin on topics. Eddie Burback is best at pointing out and lambasting the flaws seen in ourselves and the people he criticizes. Oh, that's so sad. That's not funny at all. Like the meme. Can we just can we play that fun meme that we all love really quick? Catch me outside. How about that? Catch you outside? What does that mean? What I just said. <laughs> that's fun. That fixes it. That fixes the sadness that's building and that's welling up inside of me. Oh man, catch me outside. How about that? Ca catch me outside. How about that? Oh, there it goes. It's washed away. Her mom had what? Cancer? I can't hear you. Catch me outside. Oh, man. Do, do I love this me? Clody Co. embodies this kind of condescending, obnoxious Californian persona that has played well for laughs and brings an element of charm to his form of comedy. The bad news is, comedy on Instagram has gotten so much worse. However, the good news is, it's actually gotten better depending on how you look at it. Like for example, if you're uh, planning on doing a YouTube video, making fun of it for your own personal gain. Or if, um, uh, that's pretty much the only case. And Drew Gooden uses subtle observational humor to make his criticisms. Here's a sentence I never thought I'd say. YouTube vlogger and disgraced former Disney Channel star Jake Paul is headlining his own show at the historic House of Blues. The same House of Blues built on a rich history of rock and roll icons such as Pearl Jam, Aerosmith, Yellow Card. But tonight, the stage belongs to Jake. These differences tend to separate them when they replicate topics as Cody admits in this video. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of copying what Danny Gonzalez does on his channel, including his intro. So I was watching uh, Danny's recent video where he tried to recreate uh, these pranks from this channel called Trum Trum. It's really funny, check that out. But I was watching the video and I was like, I got kind of inspired. One particularly jarring fact that a commenter notes on Eddie Burback's video on Vine Stars is this. This guy is like Cody Ko and Drew Gooden. Like, same ideas, same style, just as funny, but for some reason, less popular. He deserves more. This comment is showing that perhaps there needs to be more separation from these YouTubers. I think the primary reason why this similarity is occurring is because there's not enough diversity in this community. In order for there to be more differentiation between, say, Cody Ko and Ryan Trahan, more people from different backgrounds should be mixed into this very limited group. According to the Harvard Business Review, in an article titled, Does Diversity Actually Increase Creativity? Studies show that at least a moderate amount of diversity can overwhelmingly improve the influx of ideas that are being presented. Thus, there's no overall consensus on a topic, and each YouTube channel, in this case, can be vastly appreciated for what content they produce. The article suggests that it is best to have a wide range of people from different backgrounds coming up with ideas and then a homogeneous set implementing them. In this case, it would be best for different YouTubers to be included within this Creative Commons space and then for each individual channel, which should be homogeneous, to implement their own form of that idea. So that's the conclusion of this video. I hope we can see different people enter into this little subset of YouTube so their content does not repeatedly cross over. This may help the media take YouTubers more seriously as they are willing to work with people from different walks of life and vastly improve their comedy and other important assets. Thanks for watching.